going on drillers? This is uh, James Bisher with another episode of uh, Drill Talk. This will be episode 3. I wanted to uh, share with something. Well, probably looks like I'm trying out for the next season of Deadliest Catch, but NYDC is this Saturday, so got the top cut off. Got to take a little bit off the bottom. I wanted to share with you about um, the best kind of shoes to drill in uh, practice-wise. Um, if you, I, let me tell you about what's not, I wouldn't advise this, is drilling in running shoes. Uh, mostly because you want to save a buck when it comes to ro running shoes. And uh, let me show you mine. So these are my running shoes I've been drilling in lately with. <clears throat> As you can see, this is uh, my non-pivot foot. And it still gets a lot of action, it's tearing up all the cushioning sort of makes it a good running shoe. It's a uh, ASIC, so it's actually used for running. And uh, here's my pivot foot one. So a big hole there. And if you actually see right here, this is Gorilla Tape I've been using for the past like week or so, maybe two weeks. Basically once I got down to where the sock is, making that hole, I added uh, Gorilla Tape just uh, sheet by sheet to uh, put some uh, defenses on for the shoe. But you see, my point is, any kind of shoe with all these divots and all these sections, when it's grinding against pave pavement or like a basketball court, it's digging into and it's carving out all the cushioning that makes it. And uh, even if you were wanting to sacrifice some running shoes, the uh, padding that's ripped up can easily trip you up when you're trying to do footwork or even just like basic marching or whatever and it can make you trip big time. So I like to avoid all problems. Oh and another thing is that when you're doing all these advanced pivots and stuff uh, it pulls on the ankle more especially if it's grinding against the pavement. So it can cause some ankle injuries if you don't tie the shoe tight. I know that helps. It's not going to completely sprain proof the situation but that does help but I think doing it in running shoes is a bit of a risk so I know most drillers have a very uh, small budget when it comes to spending so I just got me some new drill shoes today and you can get these kinds of shoes at Walmart for like 10 to 20 dollars these are my new Avias they, these cost me 20 bucks but uh, these are a, what they are is a very much more flat bottom shoe. It's got, still got some divots, but it's not separate pads that are instilled into the shoe, into the sole of the shoe. It's actually one piece. So what this, even with some grinding, it's really just going to wear down the material and it's going to be uh, more flat. I know like uh, some of the guys I've talked to have used Vans. And when I was at Walmart today, they have a whole section of these, like these cheap, flat-soled shoes. And uh, Vans were there too. I was contemplating buying a pair of those, but these just fit perfect. I have wide feet, and these took care of the problem. The Vans were a little bit narrow for me. Um, but anything with a flat bottom shoe, and this will help you with your footwork. This will help you with uh, anything that you're having problem outside of the rifle work, like when you get a critique and there's some things you can't figure out. Uh, I know that I had problems with this in the past, even like back in the Drillers Consortium days when I used to post videos, and I realized a big part of my footwork problem was that I was training, I was drilling with cross trainers, which are like these shoes. These, the sole is so thick and it, it's so high off the ground that it gives you less control, it puts more space between the ground and your foot, meaning you have less control of your footwork and uh, the involuntary muscle movements that come when you're trying to stop or when you're trying to flow. So um, these are actually not good to drill in any way at all because it can also help sprain your ankle even more because it's so unstable. I would never recommend these again, but when I was in high school, uh, I used to wear them because they were ugly shoes and I could get them dirty. But uh, Actually, I remember having a couple ankle pains back then. So, uh, 
So uh, these are the kinds of shoes that I advise. Cheap, ten dollar, twenty dollar uh, Walmart uh, type shoes. These are Avia brands. I saw some Vans. I saw some. I think some Salconis. Uh, but those are the ones I would recommend for you to have uh, good drill sessions with and good drill training. Um, I've heard that some people practice in their baits, but I know that some of us, when we go to the backyard or hit the basketball court, we're not going to go in baits. But something that simulates that flat bottom, that flat sole, are these. So these are actually the best, in my opinion, the best way, the best kind of substitute for baits for your training shoe that you can get.